Although I was born into a Christian family, I was not a devout Christian. My family would actively participate in church activities, but I did not have a particularly strong interest in religion. My family and I went to church a few times when I was very young, and it was not an exciting or interesting experience for me. Like many other kids, I found church to be a relatively boring place. When I was about five years old, my mother and I went to an event held at church. I sat in the pews, and I quickly began to feel bored and impatient. Much of what the pastor was saying was beyond my comprehension. Time seemed to become very torturous. After a while, I became more and more impatient. My legs kept wobbling, and my fingers kept fiddling with the decorations on the church pews. I began to cough loudly in an attempt to get some attention, but no one cared. I became more and more impatient, and I began to whine, thinking that this place was really boring. My yelling attracted my mother's attention. Her eyes were full of warning displeasure as she whispered to me to stop disturbing people. She struggled to keep her composure, trying to calm me down. I disturbed the people around me. They cast reproachful glances, and I could feel their displeasure. But at that time, I didn't care about their feelings. I just felt that I was being treated unfairly. The experience made me feel very embarrassed. As a result, I did not go to church very often, about no more than ten times. I gradually questioned my religious beliefs and thought about the nature of religion and the meaning in it. I preferred to form my own ideas about faith through my own experiences, rather than being influenced by my family. Although I am not a devout Christian, I respect my family's choice of faith. When I was 19 years old, I had just graduated from high school. One day at noon, my grandmother and I were the only ones home. After lunch, I felt tired and told my grandmother I wanted to rest for a while. Within 10 minutes after I lay down, I fell into a deep sleep. Suddenly, everything became dark. I felt as if I was in a void. There was no sound or touch around me, only endless darkness. The darkness didn't last long. Suddenly, I saw a bright light appear, a light so bright that it illuminated almost the entire space. This bright light was very special. It wasn't just physical light. It emanated some sort of divine power. It made me feel peaceful and joyful. In that moment, I felt very awake, and my consciousness sharpened. Those around me told me that I was just having a dream, and that in sleep there is supposed to be darkness. However, I can assure you that the feeling was completely different from an ordinary dream. At that time, I realized that this was a special experience, completely different from the real world. My soul left my body. I can't say it left completely. Half of my soul was outside, and the other half was still connected to my body. Surrounded by many other souls, it was as if we were traveling in a queue to an unknown place, each soul moving towards the same destination. We were surrounded by many angels as escorts on this journey. They sang beautiful songs as they went along, which made the whole journey more solemn and wonderful. Their songs seemed to be a guide that made me move forward with more determination. The light radiated a feeling of warmth. I could sense a force calling me from afar, a call that filled me with anticipation and yearning. After stepping out of the tunnel, a majestic building appeared before me. The other souls passed through a gate and entered that building. The moment they passed through the gate, I saw that they were all dressed in white robes. I realized that once I passed through that gate, I would be saying goodbye to my former life. I didn't immediately follow them through that door because I was curious about this place. I noticed that flowers of various colors bloomed everywhere in the place, and a faint white light shimmered around the petals. I felt a strong sense of love in this environment as if I had returned to a warm home. This love filled the entire space. The sky was a blue color I had never seen before, and it radiated a feeling of purity. As I was admiring the scenery, a man suddenly appeared in front of me. I gazed at him in confusion, and then I realized that, by God, this was my grandfather. He passed away twelve years ago, and the fact that he appeared in front of me at this moment filled me with shock. I also saw my uncle in the crowd, and other relatives were there. They welcomed me with open arms. In this marvelous place, time became unimportant. It was as if our meeting had transcended time. They expressed a keen interest in my growth and changes, 
and we felt a renewed sense of presence and care for one another. Here, I was unencumbered by the constraints of time, and our coming together seemed like an eternity. My grandfather held out his arm and gestured for me to follow him forward. We came to a place filled with light. Sunlight poured into every corner, pervading the area with warmth and compassion. I noticed a group of people around us, standing silently as if waiting for us to arrive. Their eyes were filled with love and care, as if they knew everything about me. In their midst, I felt the communication that went beyond words. I saw a tall, kindly man that I thought would be God. He smiled, and his gaze held endless wisdom and compassion. His presence made me feel awe and peace. God seemed to understand my inner doubts, and I felt his love and acceptance. I stood in God's presence with questions in my mind. I asked God in a whisper, Does faith really matter? God smiled and replied, My child, faith has great significance in human life. It is a source of strength that allows you to face the challenges and difficulties of life. I continued to press. Why is faith so important? God was silent for a moment, and then gently replied, Faith is the foundation of the human soul and the link to me. Through faith, you are able to connect with the divine power and seek truth and meaning. Faith not only gives you hope and comfort, it also inspires goodness and integrity. I continued to press the point that there are numerous faiths and religions that exist in this world. Everyone has different beliefs, and are all of their beliefs correct? God smiled and explained, My child, everyone's beliefs are unique, and there is no right or wrong. I went on to ask, Can I find truth and meaning if I don't have a clear religious belief? God replied, My child, faith is diverse. You do not need to practice a specific religion, but to explore and pursue it with an open heart. Truth exists within every human being, regardless of the form of your faith. It is important that you maintain a heart that seeks truth and kindness. Hearing God's answer, I felt enlightened and comforted. With Him, I learned a lot, and all my doubts were answered. Finally, my grandfather told me that if I walked through that door, I could be with them forever. This suggestion was very tempting, but I confessed my thoughts to my grandfather. I told him that I didn't want to stay here just yet. I was only 19 years old, and my life was just beginning. There were still a lot of things I hadn't experienced. I hadn't tried what it was like to be a father. I had a girlfriend at the time, and I didn't want to leave her either. My grandfather understood and accepted my choice. He understood that young people should pursue their dreams and explore the unknown. He smiled at me and showed that he supported my decision. Grandfather also reminded me that people face many challenges in their lives. He hoped that I could always keep a positive mindset and bravely face the setbacks in life. He encouraged me to believe in myself and my ability to overcome obstacles and realize my dreams. God whispered, My child, you have unlimited potential and strength. No matter how rough the road ahead, you will not be alone, and I will always be with you. Our parting does not mean separation. Whenever and wherever you are, just take a deep breath and feel the peace within. My love and guidance will always be with you. Grandfather came to me, and he hugged me tightly. Suddenly, an angel appeared beside me. She had beautiful wings. The angel tenderly extended her arms, and we began to travel through the dimensions of time and space. A shining light surrounded us as we traveled through countless galaxies and universes. The moment I returned to my body, I felt a powerful surge of energy. My consciousness reconnected with my body, and I felt full of vigor and energy. I felt the rhythm of my breath again. You have returned to your body, the angel said. Remember God's words. His love will always be with you. The angel slowly disappeared in front of me. I jumped out of bed and quickly ran to the kitchen to check the time. Even though I felt like a long time had passed, it was actually only a short two minutes. I was very confused because I was only 19 years old, and I was in perfect health. Why did this happen? Perhaps it was a way of sending a message. Although the experience left me with many questions, it also inspired me to think deeply about my faith. The experience left a deep mark on my heart, and I learned to keep an open mind and respect everyone's unique understanding of faith. I began to share my experiences with others 
and listen to their insights, drawing wisdom and inspiration from them. I realize that faith is diverse and that everyone has their own unique way of finding truth. In the process of exploration, I gradually found my own path of faith. I became a devout Christian. I understand that God's existence is real and profound. His love runs through my life and has become the core of my faith. I am convinced that God's guidance and love will always be with me as a support and guide in my life. As a devout Christian, I would like to pass on my faith to my children. I will also respect their choices and ability to think independently. I want them to be free to explore their faith and find their own truth and meaning. I hope that through my actions, my children will understand the importance of faith.